The lively town of Vaudoisan is charmingly nested among some of the most stunning alpine mountains. The region is a paradise for cyclists who build up a huge appetite by climbing to the top of the very challenging Alpe d'Huez plateau to then reward themselves by visiting the Bourdoisan market for some hearty food. This is my first visit to this lovely market and it is a thrill for me to make several new discoveries. This is a great specialty of the region. It's a kind of salami that is poached in a liquid, a little bit of water with some potatoes for about 20 minutes. And it is served with a salad and it's called Murson and it is seasoned with a little bit of aniseed. It's really nice. The selection of freshly cooked takeaway food is very appetizing. Oh, look at this, Les Bio de Savoie. Two types of pork sausages, one is smoked cook slowly with some onion, bacon, and white wine. It smells so good, it's a feast for the family. Several storeholders urge me to visit Pascal Bologne, the town's excellent boulanger pâtissier. I am not disappointed with his gâteaux. Le Pic d'Ibona, a French meringue topped with chocolate ganache, is named after a local mountain peak. The tartlets, filled with walnuts caramelized with honey, are a regional classic. Pascal's specialty is the tarte d'oisan, made with a delicate sweet pastry, filled with wild berries, and topped with creme chiboust, a heavenly light vanilla custard. By far, the most popular pâtisserie are the short crust tartlets garnished with berries. I can't resist trying Une tarte aux myrtilles, a wild blueberry tartlet. Oh la la, absolute pleasure. This rolled Savoy sponge with blueberry jam is a lovely family gâteau. First, a bit 80 grams of sugar with three egg yolks and the grated zest of one lemon until light and creamy. Then, a bit three egg whites with a pinch of cream of tartare. The egg whites must be shiny but firm and that will help make the sponge very light. I fold the egg white into the egg yolk mixture and fold in a mix of sifted plain flour and corn flour. I spread the sponge mixture on a prepared Swiss roll tin lined with baking pepper. It takes about eight minutes to bake. I carefully turn the cooked sponge onto a clean towel. Without delay, I roll the sponge up by lifting the tea towel. Once it's cold, I unroll the sponge and brush it with a fruit brandy before spreading it with a few tablespoons of blueberry jam. And I carefully roll the sponge to trap the jam inside. I finish by brushing a little jam around the roll and then topping with toasted almonds and dusting with icing sugar. Naturally, everyone loves this delicious biscuit de Savoie with a dollop of cream. Tomorrow, I visit the splendid region of Savoie and get to taste one of my favorite French cheeses, le Roblochon.